Petal Pratt's um, set of Amaryllis cutter, you'll receive like two cutters. One is wider than the other and also a petal veiner. So I'm going to start with the stamen or the stigma and I'm going to take a number 22 white floral wire and then I'm going to take half of a medium stamen I'll use half a width of a floral tape white again I'm using white because so that I can dust it with whatever kind of collar that I want. So I'm just going to stick that. And the way that I do it is that I secure the tip of my floral tape with my forefinger. And just basically have that. And then instead of it being a straight stamen like this, I would run my finger through it until it becomes a slight curve, like so, because that's how the stamen of amaryllis is. So I'm going to use five, and normally one of them sticks out farther than the rest. I'm just going to take that and cut it and then I'll choose which one sticks out farther than the rest which is that one. Alright, so as you can see this one sticks out farther than the rest. I'll take half a width of my floral tape and then just bunch it together. Don't forget to stretch your floral tape. That way the adhesive is released. There we go. Alright, so I got that taken care of. And then for the petal, I'm going to take some white gum paste. And I'm going to roll my white gum paste to where the bottom is thicker than the rest. I'm going to take my um, veiner and make sure that I press it down where it has an even veining. Now I'll take one of my cutters. So uh, per flower you're going to do three of each size. So this one is the, uh, the, the narrower of the two petals. So when you're using a one part veiner, you have to vein your gum paste first before you cut it. If you're using a two part veiner, then you have to cut it first, insert the wire, and then vein. So I'm pressing my gum paste and shaking it a little bit, that way I get a really clean cut. If you don't get a clean cut, just use the back of your, your nail and then just shape it up. So I'm going to take a number 26 floral wire and it's really up to you if you want to use white or green. I'm going to brush a little bit of my gum glue there and 
holding the petal upside down with my forefinger and thumb, I will insert that wire in so that I know exactly where that wire is going. And don't forget to pinch it at the very tip so that you know that that wire is not going to come off when the gum paste is done. So I'm going to do the same thing with this other petal. And I'm just inserting the wire up to about uh, a quarter of an inch in. You don't need it anywhere deeper than that. So I'll take that and outline the edges with my ball tool. Don't forget to thin the base as well. basically draw a line in the center and fold my petal in half. So after I've folded it, I'm going to take my large cone flower former and then just dry it at an angle. The same with the other one. I'm just going to thin it like, as you may have seen, this flower does not have any kind of movement whatsoever. Draw a line right in the middle, then fold it in half. You can get your flower former and stick it in half or stick it there. So you can actually put like two more petals per uh, cavity and then you just let it dry. I'm going to take a little bit of lime green and as you can see I'm trying to dip my brush and tapping it onto my paper so I don't get a whole lot of green in there. And then I'll just brush it all the way, halfway, like to where it fades on the top. Same as with this here. So just brush it to where it fades towards the top. And then I will take my magenta um, dust. Again, I would dip my brush onto the powder barely and then I'm just going to scrape the sides with that shade ever so gingerly. And amaryllis have different types of shading. You can shade it this way. I just wanted to basically make it like just a touch of pink on the side. Like so. Barely. A touch. So, and so you're going to do three of the wide petal and three of the uh, narrow petal per flower. 
So now you take that stamen that we did earlier, and I'm just going to dust it with a touch of that green as well. It's actually green. I just want it to be like light green in color. Even the stamens are green. And then the very tip, the top the thing that protrudes at the very top is normally brown. So I would make that thing brown. You can even make this a little bit bigger with a little bit of gum paste. So it's like the, the the stamen is like bent a little bit. And so I'm going to start with the uh, with the petals that are narrower. And I'm just going to do it like halfway through the uh, the height of the. Um, the stamen as to where the bent of that that petal is the same height. I usually use half width floral tape. And I'm using that ribbon shredder. Just makes my life so much easier. But if you don't have that contraption, of course you can always just use uh, scissors and just cut it in half. So I'm going to secure the tip of that floral tape with my forefinger and I'm going to wrap it to where the base of that petal is, like so. Already to the next petal. And if you need to bend the wire, you have to bend the wire. Hold it to the base and bend the wire. Don't bend it from this end because it will make your gum paste break. Okay, so the third one. So I'm just making sure that that is even in distance, all three of the petals. So of course it will move for right now because the end part of that petal is not yet secure. So just you know try to move it to where you wanted that petal to be, and then press the uh, end because that's where wherever the end is, it's is where the petal wants to go. So secure that petal with or that end of the uh, the end of your wire and try not to fold the floral tape in half because sometimes it has a tendency to do that. Okay, so now I got three and in between those petals I will put the next one. And this is twirling because I still have the end of it, end of that wire, unsecure. So later on, after it's secure, it's not going to move anymore. So one, two. I'm going to see, try to wrap that wire twice. That way it's nice and secure. See, when I'm holding the end, this wiggler is not wiggling. So you just need to like hold it to the end so that that wire is not going to move. 
make sure that when you're um, wrapping all the petals that on the other side I don't see any petals sticking out or any wire sticking out. So, and then just why, um, tape all that rest of the wires all the way to the end. I'm just going to take this cut that off. So I'm just taping it so that my stem, it looks like just one single stem, and then try to arrange the petals however it needs to be. And that's your finished amaryllis. These are the other ones that I've done, and as you can see, you can actually um, dust it to where it's different and this is another one that you can do so like there are huge varieties of them that you can choose from whichever you wanted to do